Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and uh, in the previous video we have talked about uh, what screen flow is, how to use that and we have also created a very simple screen flow which is this. In this video we are going to talk about what are all the input elements that we can have inside a screen and a user can take the input for that screen uh, so that uh, in the coming videos we can use those is, uh, input elements we can use those elements to take the input from the user before we go ahead and get started working with this please do like share subscribe the channel if you have uh, if you have not done it so first thing what we will do is we will definitely quickly navigate to setup process automation flows and we will go to new flow this is how your flow is going to look like here then click on next select whatever the layout you wanted to select as uh, we are going to work with the screen element so the very first thing is that we are going to do add is a screen element and here for the label you can put anything like input element demo or uh, any single thing or you can even say that quick contact or quick account or quick opportunity whatever the label you wanted to have so for me i have just quickly given the quick opportunity okay then you have got some options configure header and footers these are the things that you can have a look if you want our main focus is on the input side so you can see here we have got total 25 inputs out of 25 you will find some of them are lightning components and some of them are the standard ones provided by salesforce itself so as i said quick opportunity so if we talk about creating the quick opportunity or creating the opportunity record what all it requires it takes the name parameter right so which can be a type of text so if you search text you can see here you have got this text so this is basically going to give you the a text input where you are going to enter whatever the text you wanted to have in our case the opportunity name if you want to make this record you can have that and if you wanted to have some default value you can also have that default value as well like saying that salesforce org then you have some more parameters more configurations which says that set component visibility here you can provide the conditions and based on that condition your component is going to uh, appear over here we will talk this condition thing in the next component here then you have got validate input what kind of validation you have like if you wanted to have some error message which is a custom you can say that the opportunity name is required it is asking for the formula so if we have some sort of uh, is blank or something you can use that formula over here okay so currently we are not going to use that this formula or anything then if you have if you wanted to provide some help text you can also provide the help text next to this input parameter so how it is going to look like is to test we can just provide this uh, the help text for that so you can see here i have just given the name of the opportunity okay so here it says that whatever we have got the name of the opportunity and this is the help text okay now suppose that you wanted to have some sort of date for the close date of your opportunity so there is a date input as well you can have that just go ahead and click on date and you can just label it whatever you want if it is a record field you can make it as required whatever the default value you wanted to have suppose that you wanted to default to the current date so you can say that flow.current date and you can also add some information like the number of days it says that it is invalid that you can go with the formula references that we will talk about later on then this is saying that component visibility okay so what we can have is we say that okay always or we can say that and okay now here what we will add we will add new condition and we will say that if name doesn't equal to null that means what we are setting is if the value for name input is not null then only display the close close date otherwise don't display okay and then you have got this condition over here then you can also provide the help decks if you want then there is some sort of pick list values which is for stage name right where you have to uh, give the name of your stages either it is a closed one or it is a prospecting negotiation or what kind of thing it is so for that you have got a pick list okay you have pick list you have dependent pick list as well as you have multi select pick list you can select this pick list then you can say whatever the name you wanted to have say that you wanted to give the stage name over here again it is a required field type is text it is saying that let users select multiple options we will say that no we don't want it to use it to select multiple stages at once now choice from where your choice are going to come 
here there are two options either you can provide the choices by clicking on add choice or you can create a variable a resource variable which we will be talking into the coming videos okay for now you can just click on here and select new resource and what kind of resource it is going to be choice or picklist choice set okay Choice set is going to contain multiple choices like you can get the complete choices from a opportunity stage name field or you can create your own static choice. So you can just select choice and you can say that closed one choice label whatever you want it to have. So you can say that closed one. Okay. And then what is text and choice value is going to be your closed one. Okay. So this is your API name. This is the choice value and this is the choice label what we have given over here. Sorry, it should not be here. It should be here on the text box. Close one, and then click on done. So you have got this is the one close choice. You can also add one more choice. Say click on add choice, and then click on new choice resource. You have to select choice, select close last, and then click on done. For record choice set and picklist choice set, we will talk into the coming videos where we will create a separate video for those. So this is about picklist and uh, these multi picklist and uh, multi select picklist also we'll talk about later on. Suppose that you have got some text area components. You have also got uh, got that for which is text area. So this is say that long text area. You can just select that, and here you can just name it a description. If you want to make this required, I I, can, I don't want to make this required. And again, uh, I don't want to make this required. But this is only visible when the stage is closed one okay so what we will do is we'll say okay uh, go to the component visibility click on and and we'll select if the stage name stage name equals closed lost if closed lost is there then I'll display the text area as well now if you see there is a eyeball icon next to each input you can see here this one which says that these are the conditional elements there could be some others like opportunity will be associated with the account so for that you have got a lookup component as well you can just go there and select this lookup you will not be able to see the preview so you can say here whatever you have got account this is your api name field name it says that if you hover over this uh, small eye icon you see here the name of the lookup field on the source object on the opportunity object it is account id then it says that label so you can also give the label which is account again then object API name. This should be our opportunity because we are talking about opportunity. If you have some value or if you have a variable where you wanted to have that opportunity field, sorry, this account selected, you can have that. For the record, you can select it is true so that the value will be true. Now you can see here, this is how your lookup is going to look like. And again, if you wanted to have some conditional elements, you can have that. Then if you remove this, you will see more and more like. Uh, there is a kind of uh, we say that number phone for having the phone input then you have got radio buttons you've got toggles which is going to be a part of checkbox there, there is address as well if you select address you have some custom fields on opportunity you can select address now here if you want to have the capabilities say that if you wanted to select if the account id is there then only display the address so you can select if lookup account dot record name okay if that is selected we will say not equal to null that means if account is there then only display the address so these are some of the variables like you can have also the radio buttons again it will ask for some sort choices so i have added the radio button where i say that it is a existing customer or it is a basically uh, we will say that here let's say that it is a existing customer or new customer so this is the one choice then again you have to add a new choice similarly what we have added for our stage name so this is related to our checkbox i'm oh, sorry radio buttons you can have the toggle as well so if we wanted to have the toggle and see how it is going to look like you can also have the toggle it is asking the api num so we, we can say that toggle itself okay and that's it and click on done so these are some of the inputs that we have created and as soon as you click on done you see all the resources on the left hand side has been created like uh, what are the choices what are the screen components what are the what is the screens okay now click on go ahead and save and you you can say that screen and we will say that quick opportunity demo okay and click on save we are not going to activate we are not going to do anything we'll just go ahead and click on debug now you see the input like this like previous video just go ahead and click on run 
So you can see here, right? Whatever you have got, you have got salesforce.org. If you remove this, you see the close date is not there. The reason is you have added a filter. So if you say here salesforce.org, as soon as you put a filter, the close date is here. If you select close lost, you can see the description is here. Now, if you select the account, say that I'm selecting any account, you can see the address is also there. Okay. Whatever you select, toggle, and every single thing is here, right? This is how basically you create the, uh, you, you use the screen elements, the input elements mainly. Okay. And this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. In the next video, we will talk about uh, the pick list components, how you can create a record, uh, record choice set and pick list choice set, the values there. And uh, we will also talk about uh, this uh, lookup component as well in the next videos as well. So thank you for your time. Again, if you don't have subscribed the YouTube, please go ahead and uh, do the same and also ask your friends to do that. Thank you.